Peace, 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 peace. It's me, Furious Black, back again with another one. You know what I'm saying? This one, I'm going to be dolo. Um, Mondays is going to be, you know, inspirational talk. You know what I'm saying? Talk about some books. Um, talk about spirituality. Talk about the world that we live in, the, the, the consistency of it. Uh, we need a paradigm change. What's a paradigm change? A paradigm change would be, you know, the way that we do things need to change. <clears throat> we need to find out what taxes are. We need to find out how the schools uh, came about. We need to find out why we're working, you know, 40, 60, 80 hours a week. We need to find out why um, gas prices are the way they are, why electric cars aren't booming the way they should be. We need to find out what spirituality is, what true religion is. True religion is, in my uh, estimation or my opinion, true religion would be the study of nature. The study of nature. It's not the study of, of, of right or wrong. It's the study of how do things operate? Why does a wheel turn but not a square? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We put, why do we put wheels on cars, but we don't put wheels on, us? I mean, squares on cars? Mm. But it's a study of nature, you know, why do ants, you know, build mounds? Why do they build cities within the ground? Why do lions have multiple females and just uh, uh, a limited amount of male lions? Study of nature. <clears throat> which would show us who we are as a people. You know, if you don't know who you are, how the hell can you know where you're going in the future? That's 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 powerful right there. Damn, I look like one of those um <laughs> I look like one of those makeup brushes. <laughs> Real shit, but this shit fire though. You know what I'm saying? This shit fire. I, I like it. I like what it's doing. I like how it looks. If you like it, you know, hit me with a comment. Let me know. But, um, yeah, man, it teaches you gender roles. If women aren't in the house teaching the kids, who is? Are we, should we be giving it over to somebody else to teach our kids? Especially someone from another nation. Um, should we have animals in our house? This is the study of nature, you know? Um... Should we all grow our own foods? Should that be a uh, something that we're taught how to grow cabbage, spinach, watermelons, len lettuce, apples, pot tomatoes, potatoes, oranges, apples, bananas, you know, watermelons, mangoes. I said watermelons already. Mangoes, you know what I'm saying? And then herbs and spices, you know what I'm saying? And then learn how what weed and DMT and LSD does to the body. Is these things... um really drugs because i feel like not knowing what these things are and not knowing how they affect us creates fear and creates pe uh, epidemics epidemics would be uh drugs on war uh war on drugs which was created by the cia i'm not gonna go any deeper into it you could do your own research on that but <clears throat> we got to get into the habit of studying ourselves and ourselves would be what is our day-to-day -day patterns that would be the paradigm. That would be the matrix. The matrix is what you consist of in your week to week, in your day to day. You get up, brush your teeth, take a shower, go to work, work for eight hours, come home, do whatever you want to do for a couple hours, go to sleep, take care, of, or you take care of the kids between before you go to sleep after after work. Kids don't see you. They don't get no education from you. They don't know where you came from. They don't know your parents and how they got into their situation or their parents' parents' situation and how uh, things are just made. We have this crazy, crazy disconnect from life. We have this crazy disconnect from the totality of oneness. We have that. What does the sun do for the body? What does food do for the body? What does water do for the body? These are interesting topics that, yeah, they might, you know, touch on them a little bit in school. Maybe in your college or whatever. 
if you was really paying attention. And you got that understanding. But maybe they didn't, and you didn't get that understanding. But your your day-to-day is work, then party on the weekends. I w- Listen, I look at people's Instagrams. I look at people's Instagrams. I'm going to say that one more time because I don't think people understand how they look on their Instagrams. You know what I'm saying? We have people we have people killing us and all you care about is partying. That's what we have. Had to do that pregnant pause for you, you know what I mean? Holla. But <clears throat> That's what this is about, man. On Mondays, I'm going to go through these, you know, gender roles. Um, and then I'm going to, you know, break them down as time goes. Because I feel as I educate myself, I should be educating you as well. So that we can grow together and and build something of, of stupendous, stupendous royalty. We should have stupendous royalty and loyalty. We should understand clothing. What does it do for the body? We should understand that the only way for everybody to survive is for everybody to learn how to grow and harvest their own stuff. I grew up not learning how to grow anything, which I feel like I should have. I should have learned that stuff. Which, if you go back to my other video, I, I broke that down where... Um, John Rockefeller put that in uh, the general education board that that's what their philosophy was for the people of, you know, America, the indigenous people of America. So I'm Fury the Black. This is going to be profit talk, man. Uh, I got a podcast um, that I'm going to drop. I'm probably going to drop two a week. Um, One about everyday events, you know, like. From basketball, football, uh, TV, movies, um, entertainment industry like Kanye West, TMZ, those type of things. I'm going to talk about those things, but from a profit um, mindset, you know, because uh, most of us are still in the carnal set of mind. You know, we still don't even know who we are. We might, you know, people will go right past my page and then see it, but they don't really take the time to read or digest what is really being told to them, you know? But what I've learned is when you read in the scriptures, it talks about um, the 40 years in in the wilderness. We're in that time. We're in that time, the 40 years in in the wilderness, where those that generation of ignorance, they have to pass away in order for the, the next generation to inherit the true beauty of what the Most High is truly giving. And whenever I'm talking about the most high, I don't want people to think that I'm talking about some man with a gray beard sitting on no goddamn uh, throne. I'm talking about the universe, the totality of all, the oneness, the invisible, you know, the thing that connects us all together, the consciousness, the unconsciousness, you know. This is what connects us all. This is God. This is the most high. It could be male or female depending on how you want to give your light to it. You know, if you're a female and you feel like calling the most high female a, a woman, do that be at your pleasure. Because you know why? You can't put the most high in a box. And anybody that tries to put the most high in a box, they're full of ego. In which yesterday I was talking about that with Uncle E. The ego is something that tells you that everything else is wrong and that you are superior Beyond those things that can be ex- explained or not explained. You choose. So, whenever I'm talking about the Most High, that's what I'm talking about. But this is a prophet talk. I'm going to get into, you know, the Lost Book of Inky. I'm going to get into uh, the uh, the Bhagavad Gita, the Vedas. I'm going to get into Zurian nationalism. I'm going to talk to... I'm going to talk to you know, the different religious organizations, Christians, Muslims, Moors. I'm going to talk to all of them because I think that it's time that we put these things on the front street. 
you know but that's only on profit talk if you want to hear those things that's where it's going to be that's where you could come here for that i'm trying to be like the new new Sinetta, Sinetta. You know what I'm saying? I used to watch his stuff, but I feel like he's only um in one place. And we have, you know, quote unquote fifty states. You know? There's thirty five uh United um there's thirty five states of the organized organization of states. You know what I'm saying? Go look that up. But that's the new world. It's not talking about the devil being God and which I will get into. Yahweh being the devil. <laughs> Yahweh being the devil and him not really having um um your best interest at heart. And that's the key to most of this. You know, understanding the religion that was given to us and how it was portrayed by the Council of Nicaea from, was it 311 or something like that? And understanding King James' um, motivation to translating uh, the King James Bible. Did he do it from, you know, the Dead Sea Scrolls, from those texts, or did he do it from the Council of Nicaea? We'll get into all of that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not open or I'm not closed off to anything. You know, we're going to talk to uh, talk about Krishna. You know, this is just a long rant because I want people to fully get an understanding of what religion is and what I perceive religion to be. And understand that nothing changes. The paradigm does not change overnight because in order for things to change, you have to perceive it differently. You have to. You can't continue to uphold the system or the ideologies of the old world and think that things are going to be different, right? If you're putting money in the oppressor's pocket so that the oppressor, which J. Cole talks about in brackets, IRS, you know, giving your money to the IRS, they're supporting a business the like for guns, the guns get into the neighborhoods, kids get killed by the guns, parents go to the funeral and in the right before the funeral the mother underst- realizes that she got to pay her taxes so as long as you're giving your hard earned earned money away and you're not keeping it in the storehouse we'll get into the storehouse later you're not keeping it in the storehouse you are destroying your own nation that's not honoring your mothers and fathers because the way you do that is you would give your money to those that can't work anymore, children that can't work yet, so that though so that they have something to eat, somewhere to live. If we don't have those institutions in place, we have anarchy and, and we have, you know, homeless people, and we have children that don't respect adults, their elders. And then you have a nation that sees fit to kill you whenever they see fit. This is the situation that we're tasked with, that we've been given. Anybody in my generation under, you know, I would say 40, that sees this and they understand this and they are uh, studying self, they understand, you know, the paradigm has to change and may not know how it must change. They understand that. That's the, like, that's the key to all of this. Like, should Kanye West or Takashi Six Nine or any entertainer affect your day to day or how you um, perceive who that person is, or should the content of that person's character perceive how you think that person is? I think that a lot of us get to the point where we think that we're superior enough or have an ego large enough to say that Kanye is wrong for his opinions or J. Cole is wrong for interviewing a young man or Trump is wrong for not wanting to deal with the globalists. You don't even know what the globalists are, but you have an opinion on things that you only see that is given to you through the propaganda machine. 
This is the keys to the world. Understanding. They say fear is the absence of knowledge. Fear is the absence of knowledge. So you might be afraid that some Muslim brotherhood is going to come and kill you. Right? Or you might be afraid of the 9-11 situation because of bin Laden. You might be afraid of the police, but you're only afraid or you are only in a low frequency because you have no knowledge of the situation. These are keys to reality. Our reality, I would say. So, with that, I'm Furious Black. Hope you guys come back. This is um, Profit Talk. It's going to be part of my vlog that I do every week. Um, and we're going to go through, you know, religion. Religion is the study of nature. The most high is the universe. That's how I perceive it. You know what I'm saying? So, if you like it, subscribe. If you don't, still subscribe. Because <laughs> eventually you, you're going to like it. And I, I'm going to have other things. You know, we're going to clown. We're going to joke. We're going to smoke weed. Yes. Yes. I smoke weed. And if you have a problem with that, once again, your ego is telling you that what I'm doing is wrong instead of you checking yourself on why you think what I'm doing is wrong. All right? So, with that, I'm Furious Black. You can follow me on IG. Um, it's Furious Black Kai. And Kai is K-L-I, means vessel. So, holla at your boy, Prophet Talk.